Hey guys, welcome back to Bambi TV, guys. They're going to check in out why you were created by Mufti Mech. They're going to be my first time checking this out, so guys, let's get straight into this. Why are we here, my brothers? I ask you, my brother, did Allah give you life this morning because He needs you to go to work? Did Allah give me life today so I can take the children to school? Or did Allah give me life, maybe so I can go shopping and get the groceries for my wife? Did Allah give me life so I can collect more money and buy a house or buy a bigger house or maybe to buy a car? Why did Allah give me life? You know, my brothers, how many times do we honestly ask ourselves, why am I alive? Allah says in one clear statement, we did not create the human, nor did we create the jinn. Allah created you for worship, my brother. To know Allah, to glorify Allah, to understand Allah, to praise Him, to worship Him, to call others to Him. And this life, my brothers, is a challenge. This life is a continuous battle. Because every believer will be put to trial and will be tested. No one will be left upon simply saying, we believe in Allah. The kalima you say is not enough. The word you utter is not enough. Allah wants more than words. Did people think that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will let them be here, will let them say, we are believers, we are believers. And Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will not test them if we do not wake up and realize that these tests are coming our way, whether you like it or not, you are dreaming. You do not know why you are here. When a person says, I believe in Allah, then he will be tested. And if he shows patience upon all of that and his Iman remains firm and he's able to bear the harm which comes to him, then this is an evidence for the truthfulness of his Iman. But if he swerves and deviates and he gets caught up in the fitna, then this is an evidence for his hypocrisy. There are some people who worship Allah as if on an edge. If some goodness comes to him, then he is satisfied and happy. And if some hardship comes to him, he turns on his face and he will lose the world and the hereafter and that is the tremendous loss. Their worship of Allah is as if on an edge. They don't really have a tight connection with Allah. They are weak in their obligations, preoccupied in the worldly affairs, paying little attention to themselves, to the Iman, to their children. So the connection to the deen, connection to Allah is very, very weak. This person is in great danger because when the trial and tribulation comes, Maybe the loss of a family member, maybe some hardship or trial in terms of wealth and that basically destroys his deen. Why? Because he was only worshipping Allah as if upon an edge. He never took his deen seriously. These types of people are those who will you know, be afflicted by these types of trials and tribulations. Allah is not going to leave the believers upon the state that they are in until he separates between the evil and the good. We shall indeed put you to trial with something of fear and hunger and decrease in wealth and loss of life and in fruits and give glad tidings to those who are patient. Those who when a calamity afflicts them, they say, Inna lillahi wa inna ilihi raji'un To Allah we belong and to Allah we return. Indeed, Allah, when He loves the people, He puts them to trial. So a person who is pleased with this trial and he passes through it, then Allah will be pleased with him. And the one who becomes angry as a result of this trial, then upon him will be the anger. If calamity strikes, you need to know that was a test from Allah. You need to pass the test. Don't ever question the decree of Allah. Thank Allah. Let it be a means of drawing you closer to Allah through 
all your ibadah and staying away from sin and engaging in istighfar, still daybreak only follows the darkest hours of the night. Brother, you are here for 50, 60, 70. How long will you live? How long will you live? A hundred years? A hundred and ten? How long will you live? Then you will die, my brother. And then this dunya is all over. And then whoever of you, he did good. You will see. And if you did bad, you will also see. Whoa. Guys, this is beautiful. I like reacting to videos like this because it kind of reminds me of why I'm actually here. Like, since I'm doing this religious stuff, like, it's actually making me, I would say, more righteous. Because I kind of pay account to everything I'm doing. Like, if I'm listening, I'm like, is this pleasing God? Is this not? Like, it's helping me a lot. Like, I would say it's helping me a lot. You have changed my mindset. I just made me know that the only way you can get happiness is if you want to be happy. Like, God, you get happiness in God. And if you say, if I get this, I'll be happy. You won't. Even if you see trials and challenges, you can still be happy. Like, you know, there's a God out there. You know that God is watching over you and God gave you that challenge for a reason. So to just be looking at what can I learn from this? What is God trying to show me? Like, how did I get into this mess? Like, how did I allow God to do this to me? Like, God is going to actually show you a lesson and raise you out from that place. Because it's written in the Bible, once a door closes, another opens. So, anytime you're challenging, you just have to look for the other door that is opening. But, like, to think of it, if God wants to actually, I won't say punish you, but give you a challenge and he gives you some people always complain that God making them not to have so much money is actually a challenge. But imagine God giving you a lot of money and you don't have joy, you don't have peace. Like, I feel that is the greatest challenge, guys, right? because you have what the rest of the world is wanting to get. And you don't feel accomplished. You don't feel happy. And I feel that is really, really hard working. I never want to be in that point. Like, that is actually what scares me, guys. You getting all you want and... Yeah, like, is this actually worth it? Hmm. Guys, I don't know, but I don't know if it's written in the Quran, but it's written in the Bible that everything is vanity, guys. We're not taking any of this away, so let's just focus on why we are actually here. Guys, don't forget to like, share, subscribe to my channel. Tell me what you think about this video. Just sure to give me a thumbs up, subscribe. Please subscribe and share this video. I'll see you next time, guys. Peace.